Somebody say cheese. Cheese. Say Cabell. Say look out. Say look at me go. It's always just your size. Don't ask why. Medium eyes. Be brave or shy. Make goo goo eyes. Maybe you could even win a sweet prize. Everybody say cheese. Little Rock, the largest city and capital of Arkansas. Obviously a great place for Chuck E. Cheese to expand to. Today in this video, we will talk about both Little Rock and North Little Rock's Chuck E. Cheese locations. Before I talk about the locations, I will give a quick history behind each. Chuck E. Cheese was founded on May 17, 1977 and opened its first location in San Jose, California. It was created by Atari's co-founder, Nolan Bushnell, who wanted to create a place where families could go, eat pizza, and play the latest arcade games. As for Showbiz Pizza, it was founded in 1980 and opened its first location in Kansas City, Missouri. It was created by former franchisee Robert Brock, who wanted to create a pizza place with the help of Aaron Fector, the founder of Creative Engineering's Inc. Fun is making for sharing, share the fun at Showbiz Pizza. The fun comes alive. And so December of 1982, Showbiz Pizza opened in Little Rock, Arkansas. There are lots of photos of this location, such as this photo of the Rock Fire Explosion, this photo of the street sign, and this photo of Billy Bob mentioned in a school yearbook. Things were going well for the Showbiz, but in 1984, Chuck E. Cheese filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy and was purchased by Showbiz Pizza so the two companies could emerge. But little did they know that Chuck E. would turn from a friend to a foe. Jesus, kids never sing the blues. Behind the scenes, not everything was going very happy for showbiz. You see, Chuck E. Cheese tried to buy the rights to the Rock of Fire Explosion, but Aaron Fector, the creator of the band, did not want to give up the rights. So Chuck E. Cheese created something that any showbiz fan hates to hear, concept unification. For those who don't know, concept unification was a process where all the Rock of Fire characters except for Billy Bob would be stripped down to their endoskeletons and turned into the Chuck E. Cheese characters. You can watch concept unification on YouTube, but I'll warn you, it might make you cry. One cool thing about this location, it decided to keep the wood paneling in the dining area, just like Paducah, Kentucky. Although it did remove Munch Jr., the pizza cam, and the Munch's Make Believe Band sign. However, in 2004, all the magic would come to an end, or, I don't know, maybe not. In 2014, the Chuck E. Cheese and Little Rock permanently shut down, as well as the Kmart next door, and became a medical plaza. However, this wasn't the end of Chuck E. and Little Rock, as it relocated to Shacklefort Road. I hope I'm saying that right. The location also received a new Circles of Light stage, but with no animatronic. Now what happened to the three stage? They were probably sent to another location, or they were destroyed. Who knows? Here's the address if you want to see the location. It has no plans for remodeling. I bet that pizza tastes good. Mm -hmm. You never 
never seen a place like Shelby's Pizza Place. We'll serve you a pizza, second to none. So come for the pizza, stay for the fun. Showbiz Pizza Place with over 60 electronic games. Pizza baked fresh every day. And the stage show extravaganza on three stages. So come for the pizza, stay for the fun. North Little Rock Showbiz opened in 1983. However, there are no photos or videos of when it was a showbiz. There is this one photo of when it received Phase 3, but that's all I could find. It received concept unification around the same time as Little Rock in 1991, and they kept the three stage and never relocated. However, just like Fort Smith, you can see they weren't being taken care of very well, and they weren't moving very properly. I mean, look at this video. The back of Pasquale's head fell off. Talk about a tough life, man. I'm sure some of you want to go see this location, but sit down, I have really bad news. In August of 2019, the Chuck E. Cheese in North Little Rock got the unfortunate remodel, known as 2.0. This came to the change of the removal of animatronics in favor of a large dance floor. However, despite all the positive reviews of this location, a terrible event happened at this Chuck E. Cheese a couple years ago. It resulted in the death of a woman. If you do not want to hear about this, then skip to this timestamp. In 2021, 32-year-old Christina Clay was shot outside the Chuck E. Cheese. She was there celebrating her girlfriend's son's second birthday when she got into an argument with another guy in the restaurant. They went outside and the guy pulled a gun on her and shot her to death. He reportedly flew the scene but was caught a couple days later. Rest in peace, Christina Clay. As of 2023, the Chuck E. Cheese in North Little Rock is still alive and going strong. That's all for this video. Bye-bye.